Hi everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And here I'm showing you my base coat. It's just the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And as you can see, I have thinned it down quite a bit. And now I'm gonna show you the rest of my paints. This is the Modern Masters Ferro Gold. This is the Parage Posse Deep Lagoon Shimmer. Very pretty uh, green color. My next one is the Modern Masters Green Apple. And my last color is a combination of Amsterdam, oh, I'm sorry, Golden Alzarin Crimson is that color. And the last color is a combination of Amsterdam Prussian Blue and Amsterdam Payne's Gray. Got, just got a really, really deep blue color there. My pouring medium today, and I will be showing you this, is seven parts of the mix to one part paint. And I did thin it down quite a bit. I'm working with thin paints today. Just thinned it with water. So what I'm gonna do is turn the camera off and I'm going to put my base coat down, as you can see now, um, with the Artist Law Flow Acrylic White. No silicone was used in my paints today. Today's just going to be a simple ribbon pour where I just lay the paints down. No particular order or fashion. And that was that Porage Posse Deep Lagoon Shimmer there. And this is the Modern Masters Green Apple. And this is the, um, the Amsterdam paint that I mixed the Prussian blue and the Payne's gray with. I think it's at this point that I decided I'm going to use all my paints up. As you can see, I'm going to start scraping out my little containers and using all the paints. This is really a fun pour to do. And this paint is that uh, Golden El Elzarin Crimson Hue. Lately I've been like liking using red in my paintings. I think it really just gives painting such a nice pop of color. And now I'm using Modern Masters Ferro Gold. This gold is uh, more of a subtle kind of gold, not a real blingy, get in your face kind of gold. Milder, I guess you'd call it. That's why I like using it.
and here's where I'm going back and I'm I'm using up all my colors now I did have a little bit of that Parage Posse deep lagoon shimmer left I'm just dotting it here and there on the painting And again, just using up that green apple. Okay, just giving it a quick torch here to get out some of those air bubbles. I think this paint was made up like a day before, so not too many air bubbles. And I found too with the mix, you don't get a lot of air bubbles. Now it's tipping time. I have a lot of paint on this canvas, so I'm going to be tipping some of that off. Just being mindful of what I want to keep and what I can afford to tip off there. I do like those white lines in between. You can already see the results I'm getting from that mix. Beautiful, beautiful results. It's kind of like transparent. It lets colors from underneath come up through other colors and it gives that shadowy ghost look there too you can see it with the yellow and that yellow just must have been from the base coat and that apple green mixing together there that little spot there. Just more tipping here. You can just see these colors just played so well together. That deep blue really draws the eye to the painting, I think. This is me attempting to leave some uh, negative space. I'm going to try to leave a little bit anyway. Now it looks like I'm just taking a look at it here, composition-wise, deciding what I want to do. I actually did really like the composition of this right after I did the major part of my tipping. I found though with the mix, the more that you stretch your paints out, the nicer effects you do get. So that's what I'm doing here. I see some areas that if I stretch those paints out, I think that the effect will be, be just that much more pretty. So. That Parage Posse Deep Lagoon Shimmer I, I really tried to save as, as much as that color on this painting as I could. I am taking the paint down off that corner now. And you can see the corner where my hand is there on the lower left. That is a negative space, and I'm trying to keep that.
just looking at the composition here again. Giving it another torch. And I did not get any cells come up at all on this painting, which was fine with me. It was just really busy enough with all these colors that I, did, I didn't want cells in it. Checking my corners here. Here I'm going to bring you down for a close up. This is the upper left hand corner and off screen, off camera, I did much more tipping on this. And I drew those paints out a lot more. You can see the effects here. Beautiful effects. I thought that was really pretty in there. It's almost a pink color. It's the red and that white working together. This is a pretty area. The paint is a little bit more concentrated here, not so much uh, tipped off. Thought it was pretty in here, it almost looked like fire. I was able to leave a lot of that white on there, which, which I enjoyed. I think it just adds so much to the painting. Here's where I did a lot of tipping. You can see how I drew those colors out. This is coming up the right. The right hand side of this painting. We're coming up to an area that I just I just think is beautiful right in here. It almost looks like clouds and sky and the sun trying to come out there. So I hope you liked this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time I post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't. Till next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.